Hi Eileen Bayer, the fam here. Welcome to the final installment in our mini mental health series on Tourette's Syndrome. Um, in today's installment, we are going to cover the diagnosis and the treatment of Tourette's Syndrome. But before we begin, let me remind you that there will be keywords in this video. So you're going to want to watch the whole video so you can catch the keywords and write them down in the comment section along with an original comment about the video. Um, when you do that, you will be eligible for my 2,000 subscriber free merch giveaway. So saying that, let's get started. <clears throat> now there's no speci uh, specific test that can diagnose Tourette's Syndrome. The diagnosis is based on your history of signs and symptoms. The criteria they use to diagnose Tourette's Syndrome include these things here, both uh, keyword motor tics and vocal tics are present, although not necessarily at the same time. Tics occur several times a day, nearly every day, or intermittently for more than a year. Tics begin before the age of 18. <clears throat> Ticks aren't caused by medications, other substance, or other medical conditions. <coughs> Excuse me. Ticks must change over time in location, frequency, type, complexity, or severity. A diagnosis of Tourette's syndrome might be overlooked because the signs can mimic other conditions. Eye blinking, for example, might be initially associated with vision problems, or sniffling can be attributed to allergies. Both motor and vocal tics can be caused by conditions other than Tourette's syndrome. To rule out other causes of tics, doctors might recommend blood tests and imaging studies such as MRIs. Now, the treatment for Tourette's there is no cure for Tourette's Syndrome at all. Treatment is aimed at controlling the tics that interfere with everyday activities and functioning. When tics aren't severe, treatment not, might not be necessary. Um, some of the medications used to help with Tourette's is um, medications that block or lessen uh, dopamine. Um, they help control ticks, uh, but they do have side effects, which include weight gain and involuntary uh, repetitive movements. Um, so they might recommend another medication called tetrabenzene, um, but that also could cause severe depression. Um, Botox injections um, help with the affected muscle um, for simple or vocal tics. ADHD medications um, can help. But remember, um, for some people with Tourette's Syndrome, ADHD medications can exacerbate tics. In other words, it could really make them stronger of what they are. Um, so if it's a mild tick, ADHD medication could turn that mild tick into a severe tick. Antidepressants um, may help with symptoms of sadness, anxiety, and OCD. And anti-seizure medications... Um, Suggests that some people with Tourette's syndrome respond to um, Topamax, which is used to treat epilepsy. Keyword on um, what we went through on this central adrenac inhibitors. That keyword again central adrenac inhibitors. Therapy. Behavioral therapy um, will help um, with habit reverse training, um, psychotherapy, um, 
it will help you cope with Tourette syndrome and it can also help with the ADHD obsessions, depression, and anxiety that may come along with Tourette. Um, <clears throat> DBS, other known as deep brain simulation, uh, is used for severe tics that don't respond to any other treatment. DBS might help with that, which is when they implant a battery-operated medical device into the brain to deliver electrical st stimulation to targeted areas that control movement. However, this treatment is still in the early research stages. It needs more research to determine its safe and effective treatment for Tourette syndrome. Um, <clears throat> now, to cope and support um, for Tourette syndrome, your self-esteem may suffer as a result of Tourette. You may be embarrassed about your tics and hesitate to engage in social activities, such as dating or going out in public. As a result, you're at increased risk of depression and substance abuse. Now, there are some ways that you can learn to cope with it um, that will help you out. So, let's go over them. Um, to cope with Tourette's syndrome, remember that ticks usually reach their peak in the early teens and improve as you get older. So, like, when you're, like, 14 years old, that's when it's going to hit their peak. But as you start getting older, like 15, 16, 17, each year it's going to, you know, the ticks will go down a little bit more so they're not as bad. Okay? Remember to reach out to others uh, dealing with Tourette syndrome for information, uh, coping with tips. You know, coping tips and support. Um, there's groups. Um, use your family members. Make sure you have a good support system. As with any other mental illness, a support system is your backbone. Um, they help strengthen you, encourage you, um, and they're there to help with any type of support they can. Include your friends in that. Let your friends know about what you have. If they're true friends, you having Tourette's or any other thing is not going to bother them because they're true friends. A true friend loves you for what's inside and not for what's out here. So remember that. If they're going to judge you for something you have no control over, they're not worth having as a friend. Find true friends. Now, if your child has Tourette's, um, their school could, you know, it will cause special challenges to, with them. So you want to make sure that you get all the help you can get. And the best way to do that is being your child's advocate by educating teachers, school bus drivers, and others whom your child interacts regularly. Um, make sure that in a in educational setting, meet your child's needs, um, whether it's tutoring, tutoring um, on time testing to reduce stress for them, or smaller classes, or all of the above. Make sure you nurture your child's self-esteem, support your child's personal interests and friendships. Both can help build their self-esteem. Keyword, find a support group. To help you cope, seek out a local Tourette Syndrome support group. If there aren't any, consider starting one. Don't always let the other person start. If there's none in there and you know you can help, start one. I have a friend here on YouTube um, where their child has the George Syndrome, um, which a lot of not a lot of kids are diagnosed with that. Um, <clears throat> but she, she's gone out and made the first step and started a channel on it to give people information and support 
And just by doing that channel, it's a way for support with any other parents that their child may be going through what hers is with the George syndrome. Because then they can talk about it online. They can have discussion groups. Um, if there's people locally and they see that, they can reach out. And that's what you need. Okay? And that's it for this little segment on Tourette's Syndrome. Before we leave, I just want to go over... Um, this picture here so you have a better understanding of the George, I mean Tourette Syndrome. Um, Tourette Syndrome can cause panic disorders, memory deficits, OCD, social skill um, deficits, mood disorders, learning disabilities, visual perceptual motor disabilities, ex executive dysfunction, Dysfunction in sensory, uh, sensory integration, ADHD, all of this is associated with Tourette syndrome. So be the advocate, be the better person out there, and see with your heart and not your eyes, because remember what the heart sees is important. What the eyes see isn't important. That's just a shell. What truly matters is invisible to the eye because only the heart can see it. So remember, each and every one of you out there, yes, every one of you, you all matter to me. You're important. And I love you. So until I see you again, bye.